this is Brandy at Brandy Stamps. We are here today to do another fun stamping video. We're going to use the Above the Clouds stamp set today and the Hot Air Balloon Punch. These two go together perfectly. This punch will punch out everything you've stamped and we will get to see all of that in action. The first thing that we're going to do today is some embossing. So let's pull in our Versamark ink pad. This pad is nice and sticky. And so it'll allow us to stick some embossing powder to this project. So I'm just inking up my cloud stamp and I'm going to create a background of little cloud stamps. This is clear ink and so you don't really see the ink as it goes on, it just kind of leaves a darker image, but it is nice and wet still and sticky. And so we can stamp our greeting right there and we'll be ready to emboss. Next, we're going to need our white embossing powder, and I always like to use a tray when I'm embossing. And so let's get this open and just pour powder all over this project. Looks great. Now there's already some in the tray, so we'll just scoop it up. And Next, we need our embossing heat tool. I'll turn it right up to the highest setting and we will start to melt this powder. Now we're going to do another technique on this cloud piece. I started this technique by using the Stampin' Spritz. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with these. I started by filling this up about three quarters of the way with rubbing alcohol. And then I added just several drops of our Frost White Shimmer Paint. Get it all kind of diluted in there and then remove the cap. Just make sure you're spraying the right direction. I can see my nozzle right here. So I'll go right down at the project. I'm going to spritz all over. Just douse that really well. And that's another reason why we're using rubbing alcohol so that this will be able to evaporate really quickly and we'll be able to use this in just a Let's minute. Let's go ahead and do some stamping now. I'll pull in a couple of our balloons. We'll start with a Melon Mambo ink pad. And this is kind of our outline balloon. So I'm going to line it up right kind of over the top of this greeting I've stamped. Let's bring in the background balloon now, and I've got a Daffodil Delight ink pad here, a nice solid yellow one. And then on that one, I'm going to add a little row of flags. This little set of flags is in the stamp set too, and I'm using pumpkin pie just to sort of decorate that balloon. And then I'll grab just a scrap of crumb cake paper and stamp a couple of these little baskets. Great. Okay, now we can use the punch to go ahead and punch these out. I always use it upside down because I want to line up the thing I've stamped and just punch it right out perfectly. For my little baskets just come right in the side and that's what this piece on the corner does. Our card base is made of thick whisper white cardstock. So I use my bone folder to get a really great crease on that. And then this card front is going to have some of our designer series paper. This is in the matching yellow color. And I love my triple banner punch. We're just going to cut off the end of this paper by using this punch. It can do a two, a one and a half, or a one inch strip. This is a two inch strip. And all you do is slide all the way back. I'm gonna wait until you feel it go flush in there. It barely fits because it's exactly two inches. Trim off the end. And there you go. See how perfect it is? I do use that punch all the time. Just using my snail adhesive, that's my favorite paper to paper, 
adhesive. The next piece is a Whisper White Flax Ribbon. I've just cut about five and a half inches off. And now I'm going to trim an end so that it's nice and gives me a pretty slant like that. And instead of trying to roll snail on the ribbon, come over here to your project and roll the snail there. It's so hard to get it to stick to the ribbon, but it's really easy to get it to go on paper. And then you can just lay it right on there. Ooh, that ended up almost just right. Usually I flip it over and cut the end off, but wow, that's perfect as it is. This is looking really nice actually. See how it's dried a lot and I just have this really pretty shimmery background ready to go. Now this piece has been through a lot with the heat embossing and the dousing of rubbing alcohol. And so it is a little bit distorted, so it's a little wavy. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals to attach it to the project. And in this case, I'm going to use a few extra ones. Normally one in each corner would definitely suffice. This time I'll add some more. Okay, that'll help this lay down really nicely. I'll glue it down and now we're ready to add our hot air balloons. I'm going to use glue dots to do the yellow one. I've already popped this piece up with dimensionals, so I don't wanna make it too over-dimensionalized. Just pick up a few of these guys. Put it right about here. And then on the basket, I'm going to double Two up. glue dots right on top of each other. And that'll make it so the basket is just a tad taller than the balloon, which gives it a nice dimension. Now on the pink balloon, I'll go ahead and use some of the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. These are just a hair shorter than the regular ones. And so again, with not wanting to add too much extra dimension, just want it to be nice. And we'll put that one right here. Now I'm going to show you an alternate way to finish off this card because this is such a lovely saying, isn't it? It's kind of something that you might wanna have on your desktop. So I'm just adding a single baby dimensional that time. And this card is done. But another way to put this project together is if we go back to this piece right here. And I've just got it assembled on a piece of thick whisper white. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of another piece of thick whisper white. It looks a lot like a card base, but it has an extra score line right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that so it's agreeable. And I'm just going to adhere the project to that. Now, because this is more of a desktop item and needs a little better wear and tear, I want it to really hold together. I'm going to use some of our tear and tape just on this little front panel. This is just like a really sticky uh, edging. It's really nice to assemble boxes or any kind of a 3D project. It just holds really well. And so I'll take my little card front, glue it right onto this piece. Basically wanna cover it. Okay, and so now what I've got is what we call an easel card. It can stand up. And what I'm going to put here to help it stand up is just a little pad of post-it notes. I'll peel off the back so that this pad of post-it notes will prop up our cute little thing just like that. And so now this is a really cute gift to give to someone that they can keep on their desk and admire and use those post-it notes. And you can still mail it in the size envelope that a card would go in and you can write your cute little message up in here or on the back or whatever you wanna do. I hope you've had as much fun as I did today working on this cute card. Remember, every product I showed can be ordered through my website. Go to brandystamps.com and click shop. Be sure to comment and like this video so that I'll know what ideas you have for me and I'll know what you thought of it. Subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any videos and I will catch you next time. Thanks so much.